Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Quick Magic. This is a motion capture solution that a lot of people are talking about, or at least I've seen a lot of YouTubers are talking about this solution. And uh, I wanted to test it out. Well, this is a motion capture solution that works with AI. That means you use video as opposed to use sensor, which makes it very affordable. And the TLDR is that it's actually pretty good. What you're seeing right now with the body of my metahuman was captured with quick magic and it has a lot of upsides some downsides and we're going to talk about how to use it in this video so stay tuned all the way to the end okay here we are in the quick magic's website this is what you're going to get once you come here i'm going to leave a link in the description down below again i'm not sponsored by these guys channels too small to be sponsored right now so um, just want to take a look at this and show you how good it is. Let's uh, log in. I'm just going to do a quick login. OK, we are in my account and uh, we can go here into my projects. You can see some projects here that I've tried. This is with a uh, default uh, thing that they use. This is just myself to test kind of like something that's upper body just upper body and you can see if you choose their avatar you also have face which i find it works really nice everything looks okay i did this with the free account we're going to talk about pricing and tiers and all that in a second i also did this one which to me was the very important one with the guitar so far this is pretty accurate as far as i've seen compared to motion capture suits and other things that i've used this is very good for how far it is with my fingering and the fact that the guitar is occluding my body and still works. This is actually what tells me this is good. Uh, now I'm going to try to use it in the future with me actually doing upper body and being closer to the camera. Maybe that way will increase the accuracy of the fingers. As you can see, this hand wasn't moving as much because when you're picking, you don't move your hand as much. But it's weird. It only moves the index finger. It doesn't move the whole hand. That being said, I think it looks phenomenal. For it being an AI solution, it looks pretty good. And it captured my pose pretty nice. And this is the one you saw in the intro. So as you can see, I did T pose and then I started walking. And it looks pretty good. You can see that the feet stay in place. Uh, my head probably didn't detect the position of my head well because of the lighting, understandable. And also that's a very easy fix. So that's why I didn't worry too much about that part. But other than that, it captures everything pretty well. I would say almost as well as my motion capture suit. All right, let's look at how this is used. So right now I am uh, monthly subscribed and we'll, again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm just going to throw in a video that I just got from my YouTube. So as you can see, it kind of recognized where I am, even though it's just like my torso and my hands, which is very interesting. After this part, all you have to do is throw in one of these bodies. In this case, we're going to be using the Unreal Engine mannequin. So we're going to throw it here. We have a character and we click on next. And in here, you're going to tell it what is it called me guitar playing and we're going to say upper body we're going to say hand we don't have a face and it's not going to allow you to do a face with the mannequin it only allows you to do a face with uh, their avatars because they do have a face the mannequin doesn't have a face I'm going to go with original pose because I'm not doing T pose or A pose in this one uh, camera options Usually it will allow you to select whether you want the camera to be static or moving. In this case, uh, this is a new option that I haven't seen. It says general, which is, I guess, what it detected and Unreal Engine 4. And you see here the cost. This thing is um, priced by credits or VVox, uh, kind of V coins, kind of sounds like Fortnite, but uh, this one is 32. This is actually the least expensive one that I've done. So let's do generate now. And while it's generating, let's talk about pricing. So as you can see, I don't know if you look at here, it says monthly. That's just below my uh, email. 
but let's go into uh, the pricing. If I go to upgrade plan, it's going to take me here. You can see that you have the free moon account, which gives you 50 coins monthly. Uh, standard processing speed. I don't know what that means because I'm subscribed monthly with the starter plan and it's not as fast. So I don't know if I still have the standard speed or a little bit faster. Uh, it says you can capture two videos at the same time, maximum upload length of 30 seconds and maximum video size of 100 megabytes, which that's not a big video. And this one only supports their avatars. So if you're going to try it, you're not going to get to use the, the Unreal Engine one. Um, now, if you want to just give it a shot and you can use the starter pack, which is it's just $10, it's not that much. And one of the things that it says when you subscribe, even though it says monthly, it will tell you that their system doesn't auto renew. So you will have to renew each time, like resubscribe every month, which I'm pretty sure it is, it's just something that's going to get fixed in time. But if we click on more, uh, you can see here what's supported. Uh, right now, these two things are like a post processing thing that we'll look at later. But as you can see, the free one doesn't have the Unreal Mixamo and all the other stuff. So if you do want to test the Unreal, you will have to at least get the starter. One other thing is that you can see that video length, even if you get the starter or the professional, you still have 60 seconds. That's all you get, even though you're paying, which I think it's weird. However, I talked to them on Discord and they said to switch to the annual plan. And if you do the annual plan, then you're going to get 120 seconds at a time, which is a little bit better. Uh, and it says here that it gives you the fastest speed possible. But again, 120 seconds, it, it's a, a little bit uh, restrictive. Now, if you go here, uh, you can see that the price is actually not that expensive. I, I think it's very affordable overall. If you count this versus a motion capture suit, I think it's very affordable with a caveat, like a big, big fat asterisk right now, because here's the thing, since this works with coins and you saw that mine takes 39 and it's just 30 seconds. Uh, if you are recording, if, if you've done motion capture before, you know that it's motion capture is not something that you just do the one take and that's it. You do several takes. Whenever I'm doing mocap, I do several takes before I say this is final. So whenever you're doing this with AI, there are some instances where, hey, I want to try this. Um, you need to test stuff. So you are going to be spending coins. And I think the price can rack up pretty fast because you can actually purchase coins separately which it may look like a lot but if you count that for 30 seconds you're getting between 32 and 39 coins and you're doing let's say a short film that's five minutes for the short film that i'm recording right now i have about like three hours of data that i've recorded with the motion capture suit so something like this again can rack up the prices that we have for the motion capture suits today i'd say it is pretty affordable if you just need something to create a short maybe to promote your video game or if you need to make animations for your indie video game then this is actually good because an animation loopable animation it doesn't take many hours you just do like 10 or 15 seconds in animation you loop it and you put it on the state machine and that's it so for games i think this is pretty good for animation uh like i said price can come up pretty high and but again it doesn't get to the price of the motion capture suit and that goes into what we'll talk about in the next video which is all about motion capture suits i'm going to do a video about what i use what i recommend and what's out there uh, just so you can make up your mind if you want to do 3d animation with a, a motion capture so let's go back to the account let's see how it's doing okay it is done and let's see what results we got okay this is not great okay that clearly didn't work um but it was an extreme example it was something that i wanted to try uh i just wanted to show you how you use this tool 
that proves that you at least need to have your face in the picture for it to detect you, which makes sense. Uh, that, that again, that was just a ridiculous example. I think this tool works pretty well, but you at least have to have your face in the picture. So if you click download, what you're going to get is this folder right here uh, with the name of your animation and an FBX. It's going to be the name of your animation underscore Unreal. Now let's go into Unreal Engine and see how this works. All right, here in Unreal Engine, uh, you can see that I already have something here. Let me just make a folder, call it tutorial. So we can drop it again and I can show you what it does. So we're going to drop it here in Unreal and you're going to get something like this. Over here, before you do that, uh, make sure that you, oh, let me close this. Make sure that you go here and add feature content pack. Make sure you already have the third person. This is going to make things a lot easier because it's going to give you the old mannequin and that's the um, skeleton that this is using. So I'm just going to throw it here again with this. And over here where it says skeleton, you're going to look for mannequin and you're going to choose the old one. Don't choose the new one. You're going to choose the old one, import. And it's going to take a little bit. And as you can see, it imports this and it imports the animation. You can see that the mesh that it comes with is their mesh and it's in T pose, but the mesh that we assigned as skeleton is the mannequin. So if we double click the animation, you can see that the animation is just like the one that we were seeing on the website. Everything is nice and good. And it even has a T pose that I did and everything plays fine. This is why I'm telling you, you need to add the feature content pack first. So everything flows a lot smoother. Now, if you're using a MetaHuman like I am, or if you're using uh, the new mannequin in Unreal Engine 5.5 uh, and above, all you have to do is go to the character section, go to the UE4 portion into rigs. And in here, you already have a retargeter. I'm not going to get too deep into how to build one of these because everything you need is already here. All you have to do is double click and there they are. They're side by side. Uh, this means that you're going to transfer animations from the old mannequin into the new mannequin. So as you can see over here, um, we have all the animations that can be utilized. And if I double click, on the one that we just got in, you can see that it retargets perfectly to the new guy. So all you have to do is export selection, uh, put it in the folder uh, that you want, and that is it. Your animation has been retargeted. Now that animation had a few quirks um, that were not great. So all I did was if we go over here to MetaHuman and the animations, uh, we can see uh, this one is actually made with the MetaHuman, which is the one you saw in the beginning. We change this preview to the Manny. There you go. So as you can see, this one doesn't look like the other one. He is actually looking forward, not looking up. Let me play the other ones so you can see. This one, the head was looking up. All I did was go into the control rig and fix this head. I'm going to have a specific video on how I clean up the animations with control rig. So please stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like button because it really helps out the channel. Uh, if you like this video and make sure you stay for that upcoming video where we look at how to clean up mocap. In this video, I just wanted to show how good the quick magic does. And I think it looks really good. I've tested a lot of AI stuff. Yes, there is move one, which does give you good results, but move one, it's not very affordable and you need several cameras for it to work. Uh, other than that, the, the other ones that I've tested are, are not that great. This is the one that comes closest to wearing a motion capture suit. And I think it's amazing. So go ahead and try it again. I'm not sponsored. I just tested it out and I thought it was good. One of the things I'm going to probably try in the future is to actually play guitar with that. So also stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed. 
Uh, follow me on my socials downstairs. We have the X account and the Discord where we have a community over a thousand people already from the old channel. Make sure you hit that like button, not once, not twice, but three times just to make sure that you really like this video. And I'll see you in the next one.